There could hardly be a more important matter for Africa than the state of our water and its management. Like you, I try to keep a careful eye on the state of research in this matter. I'm sure that many of you will recall that the United Nations in the World Water Report of 2014 projected that global water demand would rise by some 55% by the year 2050. What this means is that fresh water availability will be increasingly strained and more than 40% of the world's population will be projected, as, as, as projected, live in areas of severe water stress by that 2050. What is most telling is that Africa will be amongst those worst affected. But I wish to emphasize that all is not gloom. The WHO and UNICEF Joint Monitoring Program in its final report details significant progress on access to drinking water and sanitation at the end of the Millennium Development Goals in 2015. The goal indicates that 91% of the global population uses improved drinking water sources, up from 76% in 1990. This means that approximately 6.6 .6 billion people in the world have access to improved sources of drinking water. Those without access stand at around 663 million, the very first time the number has fallen below 700 million. Ladies and gentlemen, there is great need, and we must work even harder if we are to achieve the sustainable, clean access to water that our people rightly deserve. In fact, we shall need the highest level of commitment to push ahead a continental and eventually a global agenda for change in the management of our water resources. The alternative is not one we can contemplate, for indeed as population rises and livelihoods are threatened by the unsustainable consumption of water resources, productivity, decreases, and the potential for conflict over the scarce resource also increases. This may be particularly important in the Horn of Africa, where water security has real economic, social, ecological, as well as political value. Among the key challenges we face today, most of which are similarly faced, include competing water needs between individuals and sectors, increased requirements to meet competing needs like health, agriculture, and industrialization. It has been demonstrated that water and sanitation is central to socioeconomic development. In Kenya, during eradication of poverty survey carried out in 2009, 46% of the respondents indicated the provision of water as the most crucial aspect to get them out of poverty. There is thus need to investment in water resource management and development, infrastructure for sustainable provision of water services in order to reduce poverty. We have to aggressively invest in water harvesting infrastructure, including dams. National and county governments and development partners need to support and prioritize this investment. Water has to be available for food production, energy, and domestic use throughout the year. We have to review policies, analyze implications, and communicate for internalization and possible action the interventions under the water, food, energy nexus. To further understand and explore groundwater in Kenya, my ministry and UNESCO are implementing Kenya groundwater mapping to cover the whole country. The program will be implemented in three phases, in conjunction with county governments, state corporations, development partners, and academia. The major objective of the program is to conduct high resolution assessment of groundwater resources across the country and identify areas of high groundwater potential in order to enhance effectiveness of managing the resource for development implemented. Revisiting investment of the water sector under national budgets and prioritization is thus essential. We need to analyze what portion of the national budgets is allocated to the sector. Countries have to review the current arrangements with a view to increasing the percentage allocated. In Kenya, 
we increased our annual budget allocation from 5 million US dollars to 450 million US dollars in a period of less than 10 years. Yet, this is not enough, as still more than 20 million Kenyans do not have access to safe drinking water, while more than 10 million have no access to basic sanitation. More focused funding has to go into investing in water, sewage, and sanitation infrastructure. 